KBS 4 News at noon. The murder case against Barry Morphew has been dismissed. Now, this centers around the disappearance of Morphew's wife, Suzanne, who vanished on a bike ride on Mother's Day in 2020. Her body has never been found. And minutes ago, Morphew's lawyer spoke at a press conference criticizing how the prosecution handled this case. We were going to get Mr. Morphew acquitted, rightly, after a trial that we believed we were going to have to have. But all of a sudden now today, in the face of the fact that they have committed so much misconduct, they decided to dismiss the case claiming that there is a body that they're close to finding up in the mountains that, it, that are snow covered by uh, nearby where Mr. Morphew's house was. Rick Salinger in the CBS4 newsroom. Rick, this does not necessarily mean the Morphys in the clear, right? That is correct, Dominic. The trial was set to begin with jury selection next week, but the prosecution figured it may not win at this time, so it withdrew the charges for now in hopes of coming up with more evidence and refiling later. Barry Morphew is charged with first-degree murder and the death of his wife, but appeared to have the continuing support of their daughters. Suzanne Morphew disappeared on Mother's Day 2020. Her body has not been found. Now prosecutors filed a motion stating further investigation into this matter is essential to answering the most consequential question presented by this case. What they made clear is they need to find the body or more evidence to move ahead with the case, writing, as this search cannot be accomplished in the coming weeks due to weather and snowpack conditions, the people respectfully ask this court to dismiss the current indictment. To make matters more difficult for prosecutor Mark Hurlburt, the judge had thrown out most of their expert witnesses due to sanctions imposed by the judge for failing to turn over all discovery evidence in a timely manner. Raj Chohan is a legal analyst for CBS4. If they can develop some DNA evidence, if they can develop some evidence that gives them a cause of death, if they can find some corroborating information that attaches Barry Morphew to the crime, that's certainly going to be very helpful. Morphew had maintained his innocence from the beginning. Please, we'll do whatever it takes to bring you back. We love you, we miss you, your girls need you. After the dismissal, defense attorney Iris Eton told reporters Barry Morphew and his daughters are relieved that the charges were dropped for now, but they want to know where is Suzanne. Dominic? All right, Rick, thanks so much. And we do have some more breaking news this hour. 